service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at the newest game from developer Remedy Entertainment, Control. Released by 505 Games in 2019 for the PC, PS4, and the Xbox One, Control is a third-person action-adventure with a side of suspense thriller added to spice up the atmosphere. Coming from a history like Max Payne, Alan Wake, and Quantum Break, we find ourselves in a similar venue where the graphics pushes what we normally see and we as the gamer becomes more immersed with an enthralling storyline. Just like I already noted, Remedy is known for their unique and great storylines. Control is no exception. You play as Jessie Fadden as she arrives to the oldest house which is a base for the FBC and is guided by a voice in her head that she continues to speak to. She is there trying to find her brother Dylan who was taken by the FBC. Jesse later finds the previous director, Zachariah Trench, is found dead on the ground. Jesse picks up the gun she finds near him and her journey begins. Not giving away too much, Jesse imparts to gain back control from the HISS or the HISS who have seemingly taken over much of the base. Jesse gains control back at numerous control points where you can also fast track to other places. The writing is great and the voice acting really impresses you further into the lore even when there's not much on screen but the narration is very strong. I find myself reading and listening to every document trying to find out more on what happened and where we are headed towards. It's been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. The gameplay is like any other third person shooter with a twist of powers. Like Quantum Break, you will have gifts that will aid you in combat. You now can levitate almost anything around you and throw it at your enemy taken over by the hiss and push them away with force like in Star Wars for close encounters. I find myself relying more on gunplay and throwing items around where you have plenty of things around you and unlimited ammo but need to recharge once it's depleted. The gameplay is run and gun for the most part and moves very smoothly. Be aware that running in the game is mandatory when you do fight heavier supported enemies and bosses. The graphics do not disappoint. I thought this would be a straightforward action title, but the suspense and horror added leaves you apprehensive on where you will go just like the old Resident Evil titles and Alan Wake. The atmosphere of the two worlds combining are done so well you will take the time to enjoy your environments throughout the game. Object of power. Except the hiss has latched on to it. We need to cleanse it. Character models and animation are great, but I would play on a high powered PC or on an Xbox One X or PS4 Pro for added smoothness overall. 
Not to say the other consoles are bad, they are just more refined with added graphical power and higher frame rate in which the game demands. It's been a while where I played such a complete game. I had a lot of fun with the great action gunplay added with Star Wars like force powers. This game was a complete surprise as the story grips you to keep moving forward. The downside is when you die, and you will die, the load times are pretty long as they place you at the last control point or checkpoint. The puzzles also can be a pain as you rack your brain trying to figure them out before googling it. I figured one puzzle out without really knowing what I did. Overall, Control gets a 9.0 out of 10 for its fun gameplay and action along with great storyline that keeps you glued to find out more about the lore on the board, the astral plane, and as you adjust being the new director. That's it for me on this episode on Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.